Top stories that you need to know as you start your day. Your Tuesday morning rush starts right now. And four years after two men died at the former Allen Benedict Court Apartments, a $2 million settlement has been reached in that wrongful death lawsuit filed by the family of one of the men. 61-year-old Calvin Witherspoon Jr. and 30-year-old Derek Roper died in 2019 due to carbon monoxide poisoning after a gas leak at the apartments. Following the deaths, 400 people were forced to evacuate and find another place to live. Witherspoon's family filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the Columbia Housing Authority. Of that money, the family is expected to get about a million dollars. And Sumter police say that a child and teen were both injured in a shooting that happened Sunday night. It, ha it happened at around 7.30 in the Lawson Street area. We're being told that a woman and an 18-year-old were outside when gunshots came from a dark-colored Ram pickup truck. The 18-year-old and an 8-year-old child who was inside the home at the time were both hit. The teen was treated and released while the 8-year-old remains in Columbia Hospital and is expected to recover. If you have any information that can help investigators, call Crime Stoppers at 1-888-CRIME-SC. And over in Orangeburg, deputies are asking for your help in a fatal shooting cold case. It happened back on October 15th of last year. Deputies say just after 9 p.m. that night, they were called to the hospital for a victim who had been shot. When they arrived, they found 36-year-old Michael Frazier had died from his injuries. Investigators are asking anyone who may remember details about this shooting to call Crime Stoppers again, 1-888-CRIME-SC. And there's your morning rush. For details on these stories and more, head over to our website at WLTX.com and you can also find the latest on the News 19 app.